morning everyone. Welcome to Storytime with Holly. Today it's a beautiful sunny day and we're outside at my balcony garden. We're going to plant some things in the garden and we're going to read a book called The Tiny Seed by Eric Carle. Thanks for joining me. Today on my balcony garden we are going to plant some kale. And I grew this kale from some tiny seeds, just like in the book we're about to read. This kale is called dinosaur kale because it looks like it was around from when the dinosaurs were here. Can you see how tiny the seeds are? And these tiny seeds have already grown such a big plant that'll get even bigger. The first thing we need to do to plant is to dig a hole. Can you help me? Can you say dig, 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 dig. And we're gonna take our plant out of its pot. You can see its roots, its stem, and its leaves. And we're gonna put the roots in the hole, cover it up, press it down, and we have one kale plant. Let's plant another. Can you help me? Dig, 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 dig. I'm gonna take the second plant out of its pot, put it in the ground, cover it up, press it down. And we have one, two kale plants that'll grow nice and big, and then I can eat them in a salad. Are you ready for our story? Today we're going to read The Tiny Seed by Eric Carle. What color is the flower on the front? The petals are orange and the stem is green and so are the leaves. It is autumn. A strong wind is blowing. In the story, can you help me be the wind? When I say wind, we're gonna blow like this. A strong wind is blowing. It blows flower seeds high in the air and carries them far across the land. One of the seeds is tiny, smaller than any of the others. Can you show me tiny with your fingers? Tiny. Will it be able to keep up with the others? And where are they all going? One of the seeds flies higher than the others. Up, up, up it goes and the, burns up in the sun's hot rays. But the tiny seed sails on with the others. Another seed lands on a tall and icy mountain. The ice never melts and the seed cannot grow. The rest of the seeds fly on by, but the tiny seed does not go as fast as the others. Now they fly over the, what's this? Water, the ocean. One seed falls into the water and glug, 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 drowns. The others sail on with the wind. <sighs> but the tiny seed does not go as high as the others. One seed drifts down to the desert. It is hot and dry and the seeds cannot grow. Now the tiny seed is flying very low, but the wind pushes on with the others. Finally, the wind stops and the seeds gently fall to the ground. Ah, what's this? Bird comes by and eats one of the seeds. The tiny seed is not eaten. It is too small and the bird does not see it. There it is. 
now it is winter. After their long trip, the seeds settle down. They look just as if they are going to sleep in the earth. Snow falls and covers them like a soft white blanket. A hungry mouse that also lives in the ground eats a seed for his lunch. What sound does a mouse make? Squeak, 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 squeak. But the tiny seed lies very still and the mouse does not see it. Now it is spring. After a few months, the snow has melted. It is really spring, just like the beautiful day we have today. Birds fly by, the sun shines, the rain falls, and the seeds grow so round and full, they begin to burst. That now they are not seeds anymore. They are plants. First, they send roots down into the earth, and then their little stems and leaves begin to grow up towards the sun and air. There is another plant that grows much faster than the new little plants. It is a big, fat weed. Can you show me big? Big. And it takes all the sunlight and rain away from one of the small new plants, and that plant dies. The tiny seed hasn't even begun to grow yet. It will be too late. Hurry, can you help me tell it to hurry? Ready? Hurry, hurry. But finally, it too starts to grow into a plant. The warm weather also brings the children out to play. They too have been waiting for the sun and springtime. One child does not see the plants as he runs along and, oh, he breaks one. Uh-oh, now it cannot grow anymore. The tiny plant, show me tiny, that grew from the tiny seed is growing, but its neighbor grows even faster. Before the tiny plant has three leaves, it has seven. And look, a bud that turns into a, what's this? A flower. But what is happening? First there are footsteps. And then a shadow looms over them and a hand reaches down to pick the flower. A boy has picked the flower to give to a friend. That's nice. Now it is summer. And now the tiny plant from the tiny seed is all alone. It grows on and on. It doesn't stop. The sun shines on it. The rain waters it. It has many leaves and it grows taller and taller and it grows taller than the people. It grows taller than the trees. It grows taller than the houses. And now a flower grows on it. People come from far and near to look at this flower. It is the tallest flower they've ever seen. It is a giant flower. Can you show me big? It's a giant flower. All summer long, the birds and bees and butterflies come visiting. They have never seen such a big and beautiful flower before. Now it is autumn again. The days grow shorter. The nights grow colder, and the wind <sighs> carries yellow and red leaves past the flower. Some petals drop from the giant flower, and they sail along with the bright leaves over the land and down to the ground. The wind blows harder. Ready? <gasps> 
The flower has lost almost all of its petals. It sways and bends from the wind. The, but the wind grows stronger and shakes the flower. Once more the wind shakes the flower and this time the flower seed pod opens. Out come many tiny seeds that quickly sail away far on the wind. The end. Do you know what those tiny seeds are gonna turn into? What do you think? Shout it out. That's right, more flowers, a garden full of flowers, all from one plant. I hope you've enjoyed The Tiny Seed by Eric Carl. Okay everyone, it's time to take a stretch break. Can you reach up really high? Put your fingers to the sky. We're going to pretend that we're a tiny seed starting to grow. So can you crouch down and make yourself a little ball like you're a tiny seed? And then very slowly you're going to straighten your legs and roll up and grow and grow and grow and grow until you have leaves and a big flower. Reach up high. Alright, we're going to do it one more time. Crouch back down into a tiny seed. And then we're going to stand up slowly and grow and grow and grow and grow and reach up to the sky with your leaves and big flower. You can see if you can balance on one leg Ooh. or the other leg. And let's do it one more time. Back down to a tiny seed, a little ball. And slowly we're going to roll up and grow and grow and grow and grow to be a big giant flower like in our story. Reach up. You can look up. Good job. Your family challenge this week is to grow something from a tiny seed. Find a small pot or a yogurt container works well, and some seeds that are easy for children to grow. Fill up the pot with soil, add a seed, and put it in a sunny windowsill until it gets a bit warmer outside and we're into May. Bean seeds are really easy for children to grow. This is a tongue of fire bean that I'm going to be growing this year. Please share what you're growing with us. I'll leave an email in the description below and you can send me pictures if you'd like. This story time was brought to you by Luso Community Services and made possible by the City of London and United Way Elgin Middlesex. Until next time, so long!